Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. So guys, we are on to churches. We got uh, Final Girl here. Uh, this is one that people have been asking me to check out ever since my first churches reaction, which was How Not to Drown. Well, we're finally here. We're finally at Final Girl. So um, yeah, like I said, this is a request for a couple people. Uh, this is going to be for screen names. Leo Churches, uh, Gone Wicked, who used to have the screen name Absolution, which is a Muse album, which is awesome. So, um, Aaron B, Veliki Slap 6673, Cleveland fan, uh, Paolo S, screen name Final Girl, uh, Shimano Nosh, I'm sorry if I'm saying any of these wrong. Lastly, Stevie Shrimp. So, uh, yeah, this is for all you guys. Um, I This is going to be the sixth song I've heard from screen violence here's the track list here I, I checked this before i hit record slowly but surely uh making my way through the making my way through the album um so i looked at the lyrics and um i, I found some insight as well now you know what i know some people don't like that i do this that i i look into the lyrics before i hear the song um i'm sorry man that's this is my preference this is something i've done since i was a kid this is something i do off camera uh, that's just me, man. I, I, I like to understand songs and uh, I feel like that just uh, not only is it for my benefit, but um, I feel like uh, bands deserve that. They deserve you to, you know, look into into what songs might be about. If you don't like this kind of stuff, skip ahead, man. But, uh, you know, that's me. I have some people. Well, I get a comment like maybe once a month like, hey, man, uh, it'd be better if you didn't look into stuff and, and experienced it uh in the moment but you know what that's my choice you know and i this is what i do if you don't like it i'm sorry guys but anyway sorry for the rant there but um here's a little insight and i highlighted a part i wanted to read this is from slate.com it's about the song it says on the song final girl named for the horror movie trope of the woman who faces off with a killer at the end of the film uh lauren sings in the final cut in the final scene there's a final girl and you know that she should be screaming those lines are a reference to the horrifying reality of being a woman and feeling powerless to change it of those lines in final girl in particular uh, lauren said that's about all the things that women silently put under their tongue and there's certain things that women are never told to do we just know how to do them uh, the lyrics also speak to the claustrophobia of being forced into specific roles as women and of not having agency so um it said a little bit below that that uh, most of the questions they get about the band, or at least that Lauren gets, she says so much of the it's so much of the narrative around the band. So many of my conversations about the band are never about music or lyrics or my actual work or my actual art. Ninety nine percent of the time, it's about feminism, gender, and the internet. I'm definitely down to be a part of that conversation, but it is bizarre when you wake up one day and you're like, this is all people ever talk about. And we've never written any songs about that. Well, I guess this is one of the songs to change that. Uh, last thing I'll mention here is, uh, I thought this was kind of cool. She said, uh, as part of her effort to fully embody the album, Mayberry dyed her brown hair blonde to look more like one of those iconic cinema scream queens. I never would have guessed that, you know, so I'm, I'm kind of glad I saw the insight on that. I thought it was just a creative choice to uh, go blonde. So anyway, uh, Let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Here we go. Church's Final Girl. Turning it up a little bit. That bass line, though. Oh, that bass one. Keeping secrets until everything became a bit too light. Oh, I love that bass line. That guitar too. I 
I got stuff to say. Okay, let me do a commentary stop. Uh, get some of these thoughts out of my head before we get to the end and I forget. But um, beautiful so far. I love the flow of this one. The, the flow of this one reminds me of uh, How Not to Drown a little bit. Um, from the tempo to the, the, the kind of uh, rhythm being played on the drums to the drivingness of that bass line, I'm getting a lot of How Not to Drown similarities, uh, which again is, is my favorite Church's song. Uh, yeah, I'm clicking with this one pretty hard. Especially that bass line. Oh my gosh. A lot of cool little intricacies there. If you're watching this on a cell phone and you haven't heard this song, you might not know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the bass line because it's not easy to hear that on a, a cell phone. I would suggest listening to this song on a, a different you know, device or with headphones uh, if you've not, have not heard this song before. But man, that bass line is awesome. Uh, all over the place in the best way. Uh, it's just uh, that's my I'm it's I'm gravitating towards that bass line so much and out of all the instruments um, Even her vocals man, and the vocals are great by the way uh, The chorus that guitar. Oh my gosh those notes. just kind of like notes being I mean uh, raindrops just kind of like falling on you uh, It sounds really good man. It kind of gives me this um, I guess the whole song in general uh, Has a vintage kind of sound to it, but when it, the chorus hits that just kind of reminds me of this like 90s kind of feel um, Catchy chorus as well so far very well put together song um, This one's up there. I'm not even finished with the song and it's up there for me, man Like I said, I think it has something to do with it kind of having the same vibe as how not to drown. Let me back up a bit We'll keep going Yes. God, that bass line, man. One of my favorite bass lines I've heard this year. And I know this song didn't come out this year. so cool I'm sorry you stopped guys the way she uh, lets those vocals fall out <laughs> fall out the way she says the vocals there it sounds really good I like the flow oh that's so good Guitar. A little bit of the Cure influence there too. That baseline. Okay, on the bridge. The hi hat too. Ooh. 
Wait, is it over? Oh man, I thought we had another chorus to go or something. Oh, it was like a bridge outro. Son of a bee, man. I wasn't ready. Oh man, I thought we had another chorus to go still. Dang. Um, wow, that, that caught me off guard. I didn't think the song was going to be over. Uh, Churches, Final Girl. Excellent song. Don't don't get me wrong with my reaction to how it ended. Um, I'm disappointed that it's over, yes, but not so disappointed that it makes me not like the song. I just, I did not see that coming, man. Um, great song. This one is uh, one of the songs, like, I feel like is such a good evolution of their music. And, and yeah, I have not heard a huge portion of their back catalog, but um, I like this sound from them. And I think... Uh, you know, they should do more with this. Let's let's get more rock elements in the music, man. And yeah, to be fair, I you know, I'm a I'm a rocker, I'm a metalhead. Um, so you know, I'm biased there and wanting to hear more rock, but this is a great sound for them. They pull it off really well. Uh and I you know, yeah, this isn't even fully rock. There's some other influences in there, there's still some of that um synth and techno type stuff they're throwing in. Um, with, but yeah, I, this is a great evolution, I think, for them to keep going with this sound. It sounds great, man. Uh, I can't say it enough, that bass line in this one. Wow, one of my favorite bass lines that I've, I've heard this year. And like I was saying in the reaction when the song was playing, I realized that uh, the song didn't come out this year, but I'm just speaking on uh, songs that I have heard this year. So that bass line, freaking awesome, man. So bouncy and dynamic and all over the place uh, in the best way possible. Um, the vocals, excellent vocals from Lauren on this. Uh, I feel like, you know, I'm not going to say much about them, but don't get me wrong. The, 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 her vocals are always great. Um, the next most uh, standout thing to me in this is the guitar as well and the chorus, especially just the you know, I, I didn't really realize it until the second chorus, but there is some Cure influence in there too, how it's being, those uh, lead guitar melodies are being played there. But yeah, it's almost like just these raindrops. It's very bouncy. Light, open notes, just, it's beautiful, man. Uh, catchy song too, really catchy song. And again, this one, uh, it kind of has that How Not to Drown vibe with, uh, as far as the, the tempo in this and uh, the, the rhythm on the drums there. Uh, let me just... Secrets into everything became a bit Yeah, that sounds uh, very similar to uh, How Not to Drown. Because How Not to Drown is like... Do, 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 and that's kind of... This is close. Secrets into everything became a bit too loud. Okay, sorry, I got taken by that bass line. It was so good in this song. Um, yeah, this is probably my second favorite song that I've heard from Scream Violence now. Uh, and no surprise there, I guess, if, if you guys saw how much I liked How Not to Drown. I see why you guys suggested this one to me. Um, I'm sorry it took me so long to get to it, but I wanted to kind of uh, jump into some of the other, uh, other ones first. I figured this was going to be a really popular song and a song I would like. So I didn't want to throw, you know, all all the all those out like super fast. So I threw a couple other ones in there that had uh, less amount of requests, but still great songs, man. Um, yeah. So uh, I think I'm gonna wrap this up. But what a great song this was. Uh, like I said, sorry it took me a while to get to this one. Uh, if you guys are still here in this video, thank you. Thanks for taking the time out of your day uh, to hang out with me and, and watch this reaction, enjoy some good music with me. Uh, I appreciate it. If you have any other songs from churches or any other band you want me to check out, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.